There are warnings tonight that our electricity grid could crash under the load as Queensland heads for its hottest day in almost a decade. The mercury is still set to soar to 39 degrees in Brisbane. Jonathan Lee joins me now and Jonathan, with the heat comes the threat of bushfires. Yeah, it certainly does, Georgie. Fire authorities are really urging us to be vigilant at this stage. While today it was unpleasant, it was that high humidity. Tomorrow is going to be a hot, dry heat, and that's bad news for firefighters, especially with the potential for gusty winds. They're also asking tradesmen to be especially cautious not to create sparks. Now, temperatures really are dropping here in the city at the moment. We're also being told there's a chance of a late storm, but don't expect temperatures to drop too much tonight. From toddlers to tourists, South Bank was the place to be. Because, you know, we're just recovering from last night. <laughs> <laughs> but don't tell every tourist it's hot. It's lovely, a breeze. You had to live in Vegas. It's like 130 Fahrenheit. You know what? This is cool. She was right. Uh, the winds today aloft weren't really that strong. So the sea breeze kicked in with a bit of force and, and these clouds also kept the temperatures down. It was humid and uncomfortable, but not the 33 predicted. A broken water main meant shops at Westfield Chermside had to close. Some businesses were left without water or air conditioning. Elsewhere, fire crews were kept busy at Peak Crossing and also Jacob's Well. We are genuinely urging the public that we need your support over the next two to three days to limit the fire in your community. Gold Coast theme parks and beaches were popular. They'll be packed tomorrow. We're expecting temperatures to be about 10 degrees above the December average, so 39 degrees forecast for Brisbane City. The Electrical Trade Union warns the network won't cope with peak demand. Behind the glass is Energex's nerve centre. It has the job of looking after some 50,000 kilometres of overhead power lines, but this really is its war room. When things go wrong, the executive team meets here to decide on a course of action. Energex, though, believes it's ready. No one can guarantee, given the sort of weather we have in South East Queensland, that storms won't have an impact on the network or even hot weather for that matter. While they prepare for the worst, we're advised to make the best out of an old-fashioned Queensland scorcher. Now, Georgie Energec says we can do our best to help them avoid any blackouts. They don't want us to run any washing machines or dishwashers until after that peak period of 8pm. That will guarantee electricity for everyone. Very good advice. Thank you, Jonathan Lee.